The first step that you're going to do after adding Etsy to your AutoDS store is product research using the product research methods and tools that I showed you. And now we're going to import our first product. So now just as an example, I'm gonna go with Walmart. Then I'm gonna go with jewelry beads, do it yourself. Okay, let's go with this one right here, 1,050 pieces selling for $12.98. Now, there are many ways that I can add this product to my store, but I'm definitely not gonna do it the manual way. I'm not gonna go to Etsy and create a new listing and then copy and paste the title and then look for the description and then copy and paste the description and then copy and paste all of the item specifications one by one and downloading all the images and uploading all of it to Etsy. This is gonna take a long, long time to import each product. And also what am I gonna do once the price here changes or once the stock status changes, I'm gonna to have to do that automatically on my store. So you can forget all of that, just copy the URL, then head back to AutoDS, click on add products, we're gonna go with single product. I'm gonna paste the URL right here and it automatically chose Walmart United States as my supplier and region. Then we're gonna click on edit now quick. Now in just a few seconds, the AutoDS system is grabbing all of the product information from Walmart or from whatever supplier you used and it's importing all that information into your dropshipping store. In my case, into my Etsy dropshipping store. So just a few seconds later, I can see the product now in the draft section on my AutoDS account. The same product that we have right here using our dropshipping supplier is now in the draft section of my store. So I'm gonna click on the arrow and now I'm gonna start optimizing the product. So here we can see that we have 140 characters, 140 letters that we can fill in in the title, but we've got way too much out of that. We exceeded the limit and we've also got the product description. 